with another video for my modified Monday hashtag. Um, so one of these knives is what the video is about. You may already be able to tell which one it is. Uh, but obviously both of these knives are the uh, yellow synthetic handles. Uh, the one up here on the stand is uh, stainless steel. The one down here, if you can't tell, it's got a little bit patina on the blade. Uh, this one's in CV, uh, chrome vanadium. So uh, you can actually barely make that out. The V is kind of looking kind of messed up in there. So um, this is what a Sodbuster Junior looks like typically, you know, the drop point. Um, what I did is, well, first I saw a video. This is what started it all. I saw a video that, uh, well, I'm not going to mention any names, um, but uh, someone, someone said that it was impossible to add a lanyard hole to a sod buster uh, without modifying the belly, you know, the edge of the blade, um, you know, saying that it just didn't have enough room. So I, uh, I wanted to find that out. And um, so I did my measuring um, and started small, worked my way up. And uh, I'm not going to be able to really get any. Oops, I'm sorry. It's going to be hard to get any light down in there. But, uh, well, here you go. You can kind of see the lanyard in there. But, um, so I wanted to try that first. That was the main thing. Um, but I also wanted to add more of a clip point. Um and after I did that, then I was like, well, let's add some jimping back here, you know, for the thumb. And uh, so I did that. And that turned out okay. Um, they're not perfect. I could probably go in there and do a little more file work and um, get them pretty good. Um, but then I was like, well, why don't I add some up here on the on the tip or closer to the tip for your finger and uh i really like how they turned out um i like how you know the the tight um jimping as to as opposed to these are a little more spaced out i could probably file that a little bit and make them a little bit spaced better but uh it it really feels good um you know, of course, you still have, it's a slip joint, you know, so, um, but it just gives you a little, little bit of grip up there. And then, you know, if I were to, to do any kind of skinning, uh, which I don't plan on doing, but, um, this was more just a project, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, if, if you were to do any kind of skinning, um, kind of gives you a little bit of grip up there at the tip, but, um, I like the way the, the clip point turned out. Uh, I may add a little swedge to the edge of that. Um, this is an ongoing project as, as most of my projects are. I, uh, I'll think of something else to do to it. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, I, I didn't modify anything other than the clip part of the blade. Um, so, I didn't, I didn't change anything with, with the belly, uh, to make the lanyard work. Um, now if you were going to add a tube, yeah, you probably wouldn't have a whole lot of room, but I've got room for this. Uh, I think this is one eighth. Uh, I don't have my, I don't have my stuff readily available, but yeah, I think it's one eighth is what I, what I order. 
Um, but yeah, so I just want to show that off, just a, a quick little video. Um, I'll I'll add a little. Uh, I think I still have the footage of me doing the jumping, um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, if it's something you'd like to have done, uh, give me a holler and, uh, we can make it happen. It's, it's not hard to do if you want to try it yourself. Um, or if you just wanted to do the, the clip point and not the jumping. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's all. Oh, everything was done with just a, a Dremel tool and you know, a little bit of file work and, uh, you know, a little bit of sanding here and there, but, um, mainly just Dremel tool and, and some file work, but, uh, yeah, just a, a fun little project. Um, so to that person that said that the lanyard hole couldn't be done, I thank you, um, for giving me a project to do and, uh, prove that it could work um so yeah hope you liked the video another quick side by side and it's nothing too drastic it just kind of gives it a little bit a little bit of a, a different different profile you know but um yeah again fun little project um, I have finally finished up, uh, a, uh, a run of knives that, uh, I was modifying, uh, for a fellow knife tuber. Um, and, uh, you'll be seeing some of those, I'm sure, on, on his, his videos and all. Uh, but I did shoot, uh, the, the major modification to a knife um i did shoot a, a full length video on that so uh keep a lookout for that uh i'm going to let um let this this youtuber knife tuber fellow brother of the uh knife brotherhood um i'm gonna let him post his video first y'all have already seen a little short so uh and if you haven't check my video shorts and uh and you'll 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 see but um anyways keep a lookout for that um and uh thank y'all for stopping by uh, i'm trying to keep this one a little short for you on on this monday so uh hope everybody has a nice day thank you for stopping by and uh i will see y'all again peace